Why would I have any interest in watching somebody clean up a mess? If I wanted to watch somebody do that or learn how to do it, no, that's not going to happen. That's why I have a cleaning lady, and that's why I go shopping the day she comes. Because I am not interested. But, you know, if you want to watch, go for it. Well, hello everybody. It is Memorial Day, almost three o'clock in the afternoon, and I am going to kit down the Evermoment piano that I finished. And I thought I'll show you where I'm at with my leftover system. Um, so far, I have not been combining, uh, oops, sorry, bumped you. I got you know, like right in my face here. Um, I haven't been combining the same DMC code if the colors have enough variation that I can see it pretty clearly. So I have them in here, you know, well, we'll just go with it. Let's just see what we're doing. <clears throat> All right. I've gotten to the point where I need, I needed to start labeling what uh, range was in each container and then if I run out of room I split it and make a new one so um, you can see kind of where I'm at here um, with the fact that I'm doubling up some colors and tripling and quadrupling in some cases because these tic-tac boxes are really small I don't think I bought enough containers I bought just enough of these to have a full set of round and a full set of square but um, I'm, I still have a whole pile of unopened containers, so I'm nowhere near worrying about running out yet. Um, the only issue being that the Tic Tac box doesn't hold really that much. And if I'm not going to mix things that are a shade off, then it gets into the point of having to go and kind of compare it to some other one and whatever. But for now, as long as I have extras, I just keep putting them into a new container. So I've shown this before and I use the new label maker that I have. I create um, one that has the symbol and the number and then I make a larger version that uh, I pull off and I put it on the tray because I don't know if you've seen that I put like if I've got the room I put every single color in a tray and just work on it that way and so then this is what I put in my little you know in progress tray I have not been keeping these when I'm done because although some of the symbols will repeat the color that it is might not be the same so I've been chucking them but this one I will use um, to put on my tic tac box for now because I'm not to the point where I'm ready to relabel everything to have it all matchy match match that'll come in time OCD will require that but let's just get started. So I'm just going to start at the beginning, um, low end of the, the numbering scale. They're all numerical order and start putting them away and see what I come up with to talk about while we're doing this. All right. Okay. So um, a little while ago, maybe, I don't know, an hour ago or so, I posted the, um, now you can also see you know, I've got my label here at the stand on end, and then I've got my labels facing this way, and they're all mismatched because I just pull them right off of whatever system I used at that time. Eventually, I'll relabel these with nice matching labels. But, so, 150, and here's my method. Um, Pull that one out and what I do is I will pour these that I've got in my leftovers out and 
then I'll just take a few of the new ones and I just kind of visually look at them to see if they look like they are um, the same color or not. Come on, focus. See, it doesn't want to do it because of all that other stuff back there. Come on. Pain. Put my finger in there. All right, there we go. So, come on. So uncooperative. I don't know if you can see that or not. Because I don't have my glasses on, I forgot them. But basically what I do is I just pour a little spot in there and I'll compare it visually with the other ones to see if they match to the point where it's hard to tell the difference. If it's hard to tell, they'll all get mixed together. If it's clear difference, I put them in a new container. That's my method. Right, I need a pair of glasses on. Okay. So let me take a look at this. These look the same to me. I can't see any difference. I can't get that focus. Come on. These over here in this corner, these are the, yeah, they look the same. So I would just mix those together. Anyway, what I was saying before I so rudely interrupted myself, um, I just posted the Alien Theories video maybe an hour ago or so, and Brian is very interested in seeing what people's reactions are. Um, and uh, I, I know it's one of those subjects that people will think you're a complete nutcase for vocalizing your thoughts if it's not kind of, you know... Um, popular belief, but I think more and more people are coming out and, and admitting, um, you know, that they have opinions other than what the uh, government wants us to think that it's all fake, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I think he's very brave in talking about it and he's very interested to see what you guys think. And, uh, um, it hasn't been out for a long time yet, the video, but there's a couple of comments so far that I think he will be very interested in um, hearing. And I did ask him if he would respond, and he said, yeah. So I think that's cool. So far, nobody's, like said, your husband's whack, so we're okay. All right, now I've got two, one, no, I've got three, four. Four containers of 154, so it's time to try to combine these a little bit. Let's see here. Now, just looking at these, again, with the focus, but this one, I don't know if you can see that, this one looks different. Just easily seeing it through the container. So that one for sure is different. But these three, those all look pretty darn similar to each other. So I'm gonna, again, I have to put it down here and look at it myself because I'm looking through the viewfinder, but I'm gonna see if I can combine some of these. So let's see here. Those really do kind of look all the same. And then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this one in first. And then I'll do like this one. Maybe if I do it this way, here, let me do it like this. This might be easier. Sorry. And then I've got this shadow here, let's see. So yeah, they're pretty close. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference, but it's not huge. I think that's fine. 
Let me see if moving the light helps me move these back. Yeah, to me those are close enough. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference, but not so much that if they were spread apart on a painting that you'd notice. And if you're gonna notice, you'd notice it also, like in the tray when you pour them out to use them. So, I just dump these together. And let's try another one. I think this was the one that I said for sure was different. Yeah, that one's for sure different. Now, check this one. Yeah, that's close enough too. We'll get rid of that. And let's check this one. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Now, of these all labeled, I'm going to stick with the like simplest label, and I'll get rid of those. And this one, this one's more of a red. But actually, do I even care anymore? No, I don't, I don't give a shit. We're just going to mix them all together. I don't give two shits. Come on, get that out of there. Grab my tweezers. Out. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put them in here. And I just spilled them everywhere. Mm -hmm. I did experiment with the tray uh, last time I did this. That, you know how they always stick to the damn tray? I did rub it down with some wax paper um, to see if that would help them slide. And it didn't seem to do much good. Um, so I might try something else to try and lubricate the tray so that the stuff doesn't stick in there so bad. Because it's a pain. All right, that's full enough. There we go. 154. And now I need a fresh one. So I'm just going to use one that already has the tag on it. This tag's ugly. I don't like that one. So we don't need that anymore. Get rid of it. Actually, that tag is kind of shitty too. We'll get rid of this one too. We'll use this one. This one seems okay. Oops. So when I'm finished with this, I am going to start working on the um, freezer, chest freezer cover again today if I have time. But I also want to talk to Brian about his alien theories again. It's, you know both got the day off today and it'll be like another week before I can get him to sit down for a video if I don't do it today. So we'll see how much I can accomplish. I always think I'm going to get more done than I actually do, but we'll see. Right. Now, garbage. Let me grab my garbage jar. These are the uh, Classico Alfredo sauce jars. Okay. 
we go. Now we've got, and then these I just chuck. I have the um, removable stickers now from the sticker maker. They'll leave a little bit of residue, but it's not bad, not like the other ones. The other ones I was using some of Brian's solvent from his, you know, work supplies to get the adhesive off. It's kind of like industrial strength goof off. But yeah, this isn't bad. All right. Now, this one, 159, I don't already have one. So I'm going to create a new one. I'll just reuse one of the ones I just did. These go fast because I don't have to match colors. And then all I do is I take the label. as best I can without losing the sticky. I don't need the um, the three, that was what number it was on the chart. I don't need that, so I just cut that off, chuck it. I don't even know why I keep the symbol. I really don't need to, except for like if I'm gonna work on framing it and I'm looking at, you know, and something's just recently fallen off. Um, plus it doesn't hurt anything. Who cares? And then I make sure that I put it on the correct way so that they're all facing up. There we go. And into the Tic Tac container. There we go. So yeah, freezer cover is hopefully later on today, plus talking to Brian. All right, now I'm done with the 100. My next one's a 300. So these then just get put on the shelf. So I've run out of room, so I'm moving where they're going, but we don't need to see that right this second. Okay. Let's see here. What else is there to talk about? Okay, I've got a whole bunch of 310s. I didn't even put a label on that one. These are bags. For some reason, I feel like I want to leave them in the bag instead of emptying them out of the bag. I don't know why, but of course I could fit more in if I didn't leave them in the bag. But those two are chock full. These are in the bag. Let's see how many I have here. I've got enough that they're not going to fit in either of those. So I suppose if I emptied out my bags, they'd all fit together. So I guess I will. Save some space. All right. There we go. My, uh, part of my Diamond Art Club order shipped today. So there's three paintings on the way. But I, I know I ordered more than three. It was four or five. So I don't know if the other ones are coming from China or what. But the, the one that I really, really wanted isn't in the shipment. So um, I'm going to pick out a new painting to start. Uh, but I want a small one so that I get it done quick so I can work on one of the ones that I bought for myself. Crinkle, crinkle. Come in. Get in there. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I usually don't have this much problem. Okay, we're just going to spill them everywhere. Come on. Come here. All right. Yeah, I'm usually not that bad about it. Okay. All right. 
I should get a little garbage can. Put all this stuff in it right next to me. There we go. Let's put that there. Put it here. There we go. And let's see here. Oh, so I did talk about it briefly in the last, um, well, a couple of videos ago now. The, um, that new channel, Bravely You, the girl who left Jehovah Witness with her husband. I find that stuff very, very fascinating, and um, some of you guys do too, obviously, because I'm getting um, some replies in the comments that other people are intrigued by these um, religions and, you know, as some would say, cults. I'm not going to take sides on any of that. I find the whole thing interesting. Um, and I've read comments on her channel, Taylor, I believe her name is. Um, and one of the comments that I found kind of thought-provoking was the difference between a cult and a religion is how difficult is it to leave there's kind of a aha comment, right? Mmm, very interesting. So, yeah. Um, let's see, her 317 is next. Now, this one looks like it is a label from Ever Moment, and that's another reason why I kind of leave that on there, is because then I can kind of tell what company it was from. And then I'm pretty sure that it's going to end up matching. I have really only done four companies all together. Paint with diamonds. Oh, I still have another one to finish. Yeah. That Four Seasons tree is paint with diamonds. It's the first one I bought and it's still only halfway done because I'm not, not liking them. Um, so paint with diamonds, Glymaga, Diamond Art Club, and Ever Moment. Um, I have a Hua Can, haven't tried it yet. Yeah, those are like spot on. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I will freely admit that I have no idea what I was just saying. I completely lost my train of thought. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, here's another 317. Let's just take a quick peek and see. Yeah, those look very different to me. Yep, so they're not going to get mixed together. Um, anyway, yeah, so my diamond art clubs are on the way, so I'm probably going to pick something fairly small that I can do quickly um, for my next one, and then work on one of the ones that I bought. Because, you know, I, I kind of did wait like a year to buy another painting for myself, so... Although I absolutely love everything that people have sent to me, I'm waiting a whole year to buy myself a painting, I'm gonna work on one of the ones that I picked out. Okay, 356, that's this one. So again, the label looks a whole lot like it would have been ever moment, because, oh, that's what I was saying, because I've only worked on four brands, so it's pretty safe what labels, I, what company they're from that they're gonna match. Oh, and then, I oh, know I forgot, there's diamond dots too, but they don't, those I had to match up completely because they don't even use DMC codes, so, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. I don't tend to like the subject matter of paint with, di of the uh, diamond dots too much. Some of them are not particularly keen on partials either. But I will say that the one that um, Jennifer uh, got from them recently looks really cool. But yeah, for the most part, and I think it depends on how well it's put together, partials just don't kind of do it for me. Some of them look great. Some of them look like it's just like an applique plopped onto the canvas. So I guess it just depends on how well they 
integrated the image into the, the the diamonds onto the image, whether it looks like it's just kind of plunked on there or if it looks good. So, you know. But, you know, just for the fact of doing the craft, yeah, partials are perfectly fine because if it's something that I don't care about hanging up, then it's just the process. It's not the end result so much. And they have fantastic quality, I can say. Oh, I forgot to mention this part. So I've got this tray sitting here, and these are colors that um, I found in the carpeting <laughs> when I was cleaning up just now. So I was going to keep it here just to kind of watch for what color that is in that doesn't look like that's that okay so and if I can't figure it out I've got a container in here of just randomness or I could like finally throw a one stinking drill into the garbage pile again cheap cheap ass hoarder okay and let's see So yeah, partials, um, yeah, sometimes I like them, um, and diamond dots are fantastic as far as quality goes, but uh, yeah, she she had one that she just got that I was like actually like pretty excited about, looked pretty good to me. So I'm going to back out just a little, there we go, I just feel like I'm so zoomed in, make y'all nauseous. Okay. Right, and then I take this and that. If too much of the sticky stuff comes off on the um, container, then I will use a little piece of double sided tape in there to just hold it on. There we go. And then this stuff just kind of comes off with your thumb. Just roll the little booger off. Okay. So, hey, hot. Okay, what is this? It's garbage. On to the 400s. Okay. So I'm not watching that. Pay attention to what I'm missing. Ignoring it. See what the heck I'm doing. Okay, 498. Got two of them here. Alright, dump mine in here. And just take a peek. It looks like that one. More so than that one. Yep, yep, I think so. I bet you anything this is paint with diamonds and this is ever a moment. Yeah, that looks the same. I suppose if I wanted to, I could put, you know, like a, a label with a P for paint with diamonds, an E for ever moment, a D for diamond art club, and, you know, DD for diamond dots so that I know exactly what brand it is. And this would be simpler, but ah, that's just, I'm too cheap to use all the labels from my label maker. I don't care that much either. So far, I've only had to use leftovers to finish that mermaid, but the idea of why I'm keeping all these is that eventually I'm going to design my own diamond painting um, and make one from scratch myself using whatever colors I've got laying around as extras. And I was thinking of doing something for my, you know, my channel artwork or whatever, make my own diamond painting. Or, you know, some sort of craft using them. Because I've got, you know, an app. And then there's the website for turning any image into a um, cross-stitch pattern, which is the same thing as a diamond painting pattern. So, yeah, I just have to come up with the artwork I want to do and create my own. Eventually. I'm guessing somebody out there has done their own by now. But I haven't seen it because I, I honestly, I haven't been lot keeping up with channels at all lately. Oops, sorry. The the brand new channels, I'll tend to watch them for um, a while. 
kind of see how they're doing, see how they're, um, I love watching new channels and uh, seeing how they improve. Um, but some of the established channels and stuff, I just, I, there's not enough hours in the day, especially when you got a full-time job. You just can't, you can't, can't, can't keep up with it. So, yeah. Especially the live um, videos, because they're like two, three hours long. There's no way I have time to catch up on that, so I don't even, don't even anymore. Um, I wish I could, but I can't. All right, that looks the same. Let me see that one. I don't know. Let me look at this one. Let me see these. Let's see. Yeah, those are a little bit brighter, but they're a little more teal. Yeah, those look different. So I'm going to leave those out. Plus, they're all cupped. I'm guessing those are paint with diamonds. I see some junky ones in there, too. All right, so those are going to stay separate. Because they look crappy. And let's check out these. This looks like a Ever Moment label. I'm betting these are going to be the same. Yep. So I'll put these in here. Now, the other boats that have the funnel on it, yes, I'm thinking that would work better, but here's my problem with those. Again, with the, the wax or whatever I'm going to do to, to slick them up, they get clogged in the hole in the spout, and then I'm sitting there, you know, but we'll try it. We'll see if that works better for a couple. All right. Sure spills less. That's that's a given. But, right. It is hotter than blazes here today. I gotta tell you. So I was outside earlier um, showing Brian the alien video before I posted it to make sure he was cool with it. And um, you know the video is what like. 28 minutes long or something by the time we got to the end of it just sitting there letting him watch it I had so much sweat dripping down my face that it was dripping into my glasses and into my eyes and it was ridiculous so I had to go in the house and just grab paper towels and like wipe the sweat off my face it's so hot outside today so Mr. Smartass, well, you on in Florida. I'd rather deal with the heat than the snow. Sorry. And it gets this hot in Wisconsin, too. Yep, that worked. That worked good. Nothing stuck in there. That's good. All right, 6.47. These are also a little harder to tell the um, true color versus a white one when I'm matching. But if I don't have that color that I have to even color match, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, I can just go straight into this tray. But if I do need a color match, I'll probably put it in the white tray first. Now, this one. Yes, I do have 647. And look, it's the identical symbol and everything. So, yeah, that's that's a I don't even feel like I need to check that one. I'm pretty sure that's ever moment. Yeah, that looks that looks the same. She's good. Okay. All right, what else? Um, I've only got like two and a half weeks. How does that work? It must be three weeks, three more weeks, two more weeks. I don't know of having to work Saturdays because uh, 
I told you guys before that we bid on our shifts and it's based on your performance. Um, now that looks different, so I'm going to match this one, the symbol. Um, so I got a Monday through Friday starting middle of June. I won't be working Saturdays anymore. My hours are going to be slightly different because right now I work 8.30 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. My new schedule is going to be 9 to 6 um, because I didn't put in for a half an hour lunch. You can reduce your lunch if you want to down to a half an hour from an hour if you choose. Um, but now that I'm from home, I'm not so anxious to get the heck out of there like I was before to try and beat traffic and stuff for the drive. Yeah, that's close enough. Um, so yeah, I'm good with the hour lunch because that means I get to take more of a break during the middle of the day, get something done. You know, I usually take my shower after work. I'm not a morning person, so maybe I'll use my lunch break to take a shower and get dressed so that I'm not trying to, you know, walk the dog in my pajamas <laughs> at like five o'clock in the afternoon because that's just silliness okay all right so i'm looking forward to that and what else um i would like to um you know, because I saved up some money from the channel. And I would like to get um, better, like, microphone for these types of videos. Like an overhead mic and some, I don't know. I have never paid that much attention to lighting. I've always kind of felt like my lighting was okay. I know you've got shadows and stuff, and that's, you know like high quality you don't have shadows but I don't know do you guys think that I should spend money on lighting or is this fine the audio yes I have issues with the audio especially the snapchat characters those are hard to get them loud enough unless I'm shouting at the camera and I'm usually doing the snapchat I snap chat once everybody's in bed because that's like the last part I do after I've edited the video I'll you know see what all the content was and then try and comment in relation to it and everybody's asleep and I'm shouting once everybody's asleep to try and get the volume loud enough but yeah whatever um but I don't know if I should bother spending any money on lighting but yeah new um mic would be great um and I think my phone the video is fine Brian has a really nice camera that he had for real estate but you know he, he's not willing to let me use it and I, I don't want to spend any money on that's too much money basically is what I'm going for um, to be buying some sort of new camera I'm okay without that but uh, yeah yeah we'd like to have better sound That, that it is now okay. that one's not that's white I'm trying to decide if I want to give Hardinger a try. Um, but again, I've got so many things going on. That I've got like a million things I want to be doing. But again, I have squirrel brain. So, you know, like the map. Okay, I still have a ton of people to put on there. But it's just, there's other things that have new shiny objects in my face right now. So I need to do that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of us go in cycles of what interests us and what what we want to work on. I don't, I don't know. I should get that caught up though. 
The only issue I have is every time I catch up on a map video, I get a whole bunch more people to be added, and it's and that was kind of the whole the point is you know to get everybody on there, but it's just yeah, I don't. Know. Let's see how close these are and if I can tell in this tray. Oh, those are way different. Yeah. Okay. Put them back as best as we can. Way different. Okay. And all cupped and crappy too, kind of. Obviously, I'm not like too terribly concerned with getting every single one, but. Yeah, they're really kind of shitty diamonds. Let's see. What is that? That's a piece of crap. Okay. Let's try that one. I think I got them all. Yeah, those are pretty shitty. But, but yeah, I know. I, how many months have I been saying I bought that frame for Alice with this, what I got for my birthday from everybody. Um, so that's six months now that I've had the frame and haven't done it. Yeah, I just, ah, uh, and I have a high maintenance husband who demands a lot of attention. I don't get a lot of alone time to work on stuff. And when I do, you know, I want to do something that I'm really excited about because it's so limited time that, you know, Plus, my desk will be covered in shit, which means I can't, like, do something that takes a lot of room, like framing Alice, if I've got a painting out. So it's all timing. Like, right now, my desk is clean, so this would be the, the time to frame Alice and work on the cover. Because once I get another painting out, my desk is clogged up again. I know, I'm scatterbrained. I'm all over the place in my conversation. I'm just trying to think of something to say because it's, uh, it's a pain in the ass when I've got the videos where I just have what I'm doing and I speed it up and then talk over the top and or try and speed up the little bit of audio and map. Don't want to do that. So I'm just trying to come up with enough to say. And I'm also trying to make as many videos as I can today on my day off to be able to post something all week long because I was going through withdrawals you know because I, I posted for almost two weeks straight and then Brian came home and then I didn't post for like a week and I don't like that I like posting more often so I'm trying to record a bunch of stuff today so that I can keep posting throughout the week so if I think this one today I've got one that's ready for tomorrow already um that's tuesday so this one's probably going to be on wednesday i'm guessing and then i have to interview him for the alien thing that'll be a thursday video yeah i don't know we'll see we'll see i need to really just do a lot less editing because that's what's taking so long for me to get stuff out is editing Stop editing. But I always want to put out the best thing I can. Plus, like the one where I got the package from Becky, I didn't realize how much my shorts had creeped up and I felt really kind of exposed. So I had to zoom in on myself to not show the thunder thighs and the horrible, horrible visual that was accompanying my shorts creeping up on me. Oh. Okay. All right, now I've got two of the 814s. Let's see if anything matches. We're going to use a white tray. It's easier to see. All right. All right, this looks like it would be, oh, and it's still in the bag too. And here's another one. Let's see. Yeah, those are Pretty close, I think we're good. Okay. So 
So that's what usually ends up happening when I'm editing and it takes forever. It's something that I don't want showing or like the grooming video. Nobody's going to do that. So it's speed it up and put something over the top and that's time consuming as all get up. The video of Brian talking aliens, that took no time at all because it was just like one straight cut. Didn't have to do anything to it. So. Easy peasy. In there. There we go. Oops, that one hit the floor. Oh, I finally threw out the box for the TV, and by throw it, I mean I put it out in the hallway, you know, outside the apartment. And then this morning, there's another bag of dog poop thrown in the TV box. So, yeah, I I couldn't bite my tongue again. So I came in and go, I got a beef with you. What? Um, you told me under no uncertain circumstances that I meant to be putting dog poop in our garbage or out in the hallway. It needs to go straight to the apartment garbage or the dog receptacle poop pickup locations. Absolutely not. You will not have dog shit sitting outside of our apartment and there's more dog shit out there today. So, of course, the answer is, is, well, get up and walk the dog then. And if that wasn't the answer, it would be, well, you wanted the dog. But, yeah, again, I just... Mm. Tell me I can't do it, and then you do it. No. You're all concerned about what the neighbors will think. If there's dog shit outside the apartment, they don't know who did it. If it's you, then the neighbors are going to be okay with it. But if it's me, no. Yeah, bullshit. Bullshitty shit, shit, shit. So yeah, just complaining a little, but he's actually been um, great. He's been fantastic the last couple weeks um, since getting home, really, I think, from Wisconsin. He's been wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's been great. So I can't complain too much, but yeah, still it irks me. I think that one's coming off. Whatever. But yeah, just being able to tell you, I'll be able to leave it alone with him. Pick your battles, girls. Right? I'll be able to let it go maybe one or two more times. And then by the third time I see poop out there again, then I'm probably going to be like, fuck it, I'm leaving poop out there too. Because what happens, you guys have gone enough walks with me. The poo station is like at the end of the next building down and if she doesn't poop there you start walking back and then she'll poop here which means then you gotta turn around and walk all the way back there to dump it off so that's a pain so if she poops by the poop station I have no no problem with that but yeah it's when she's being stubborn or doesn't have to go yet and then you're all the way back to the apartment and then she poops yeah it sucks so But whatever, it's not a big deal. It's just I don't I don't like the whole, you know, scolding me in a not so warm and cuddly way about doing or not doing something, and then you turn around and do the exact same thing. That pisses me off. Get all worked up over it. That one's the same too. <clears throat>
Now, this looks like this would be this. Yeah, I think so. Close enough. Yeah, those are totally different. Yeah, they're way darker. And all cupped and crappy. So, garbage. Garbage. It's a double, but someday we might be able to get them apart. Garbage. Garbage. I don't know. This one's garbage. That one's bowed. Yeah, these are shitty. Shitty shit shit. I can see why the Elizabeth Ward trays would be nice for leftovers because they're going to hold a whole lot more than these Tic Tac boxes. But those trays are pretty expensive, aren't they? Mine was a gift. But yeah, when I was looking, I thought that they were like, I don't know, $20 or more per tray. I, I know you get it on sale, but still, that's expensive compared to these were like, I don't know, two and a half dollars a piece when I bought them. These, yeah, I think I paid like maybe two eighty nine. I don't know, but they were like under three dollars per container. This one doesn't want to let it sticky come with it. So this is one I'm going to put a little double sided tape on it. Get it out of the drawer without bumping you too much here. There we go. My container goes to 947. I think 950 is in the next box because I've got a lot of 900s left over. All that. <clears throat> There you go. And let's see, 961. Straggler. <clears throat> Those look very different without even pouring it out. I still haven't gone to the pool here. Um, and I really want to. However, this is not the weekend to do it because um, they were telling me uh, Brian and the kids both 
you know, left the house and came back this weekend. I very rarely go to anywhere. I didn't notice yesterday. Oh, yeah, Brian did say something, but I had my face in my phone. Look at how many people are in the pool. And he said there was something like, must have been 30 people in the water. And I never looked up and go, mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's lots of people using the pool this weekend. So, I am not going down there in my bathing suit now. Plus, I just want peace and quiet. I don't want noise. So, not, not my time to go to the pool. But I do want to go eventually. Oh, there's a bunch of green stuck in there. I don't know what color that was anymore. Let's see. Got to back up a little. There was probably... Let's see. Is it that? No. I don't know what it was. Let me look at my chart. Five. Well, that's what it says. Hmm. I guess so. They look different. All right. Well, whatever. Cram them in there. Get in there. They don't want to fit. There. Okay. Okay. Here's. Mm, 50 a whole bunch of them and I don't really want to open them I got plenty of room in this place so I'm just gonna do it put some of those in there <laughs> can't even see the number but whatever I should have done it this way But I don't care. I'm not going to redo it. You can't make me. Let me turn this around. Come on. Getting there. We're halfway done. But yeah, this video is probably really freaking long. Yeah, I'm in an hour already. We're going to stop here and we'll do the other half, you know, either without you or if I think of anything, it'll be a different video. Okay, thanks for joining me and letting me vent a little bit. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody, it's Pumpkin. Personally, I love watching her organize things. You know, even if I don't watch, I just, I like listening to her talk. I don't know why, but yeah, I just, I like hanging out with her. Yeah. So I'm glad that there's going to be a second, a second video of this because I just, I want to hear more, more, give me more. Yeah. <laughs>